I paint because, um, I suppose it's just an urge of mine. It's a way of getting little ideas out there without being too pushy. Or, you know, it's like, I don't know, just a way of viewing the world and I like to make jokes with the paint. It's kind of a way of doing that. I am 23 years old at the moment. Uh, live in Logan most of my life. Uh, spent some time in Florida. It's highly influential. It's actually where I kind of got the idea to start painting again, even though I'd done it a little bit in high school. I don't think anybody does what I do. I'm, I can look at a whole gallery and I can see my stuff and I feel pretty confident that it sticks out as its own thing. It has its own place in the art world. In some ways I find teaching art contradictory to doing art because somebody teaching you how to be expressive or creative um, is them telling you how to be creative. It's not how you would be creative. So I think it's important for schools to have art classes for kids to be doing art, but if I was to be an art teacher, I'd kind of just show up and say, here's a word, draw it the way that you interpret the word, you know, not really be hands-on. I'd imagine I'd maybe get fired for that, but I think that being a good art teacher is letting them run with it. I've done close to 200 paintings. I don't keep most of my paintings. Um, usually I'm always kind of selling them or putting them up in shops or galleries. I take requests uh, probably 40% of the time, what I'm doing. I'll usually do one that's somebody that wants a painting of their favorite dog or a favorite place of theirs. One idea I've had that I haven't done yet, that somebody just came up to me and was like, you should have zombies growing out of the ground like corn and, you know, like, I'm open to that as long as they know that I'm going to take it my own route and I'll pick and choose what fits. And I think as long as somebody who wants something realizes that at the end of the day the artist makes the final call, then I'm more than happy to do just about anything. I've always been impressed by the ability for art to transcend what the artist meant by it and how other people take it. And so I got my own style, but I'd really like to learn how to bring in different impressions and styles and cultural things. And my ultimate goal is to make my paintings more and more universal and multicultural so more people can identify with it on their own plane. Um, I came up for this painting, um, just mainly with this being the image that popped into my head. Uh, just had this image of a robot that kind of had like a street light for a head. And from that came up with the concept of a robot that does all the traffic laws and it removes all the traffic lights. So if you don't follow the rules of the road, the robot takes you out. Some people ask me what I was on when I did these paintings practice.